Like all other Nysora simulators, the Interscaling Brachial Plexus Simulator comes in its custom design box, which is convenient for carrying and storage. On the custom tray, there are clear labels as to which part of the body the simulator belongs to. Clear instructions for use are also provided, and all anatomical landmarks that are featured are printed on the label that accompanies the tray. The abbreviations are visibly labeled and also featured both on the ultrasound image that can be obtained from the simulator as well as on the tray. To begin practicing, apply a liberal amount of gel on the surface of the simulator. Before sonographing, it is important to increase the ultrasound gain because of the difference in the simulator material and real human tissue. Here we can see the brachial plexus in its sheath and the scanning goes proximally and distally between the interscalene brachial plexus and the supraclavicular brachial plexus, which can also be practiced using this simulator or the supraclavicular brachial plexus simulator. The needle is inserted in plane and advanced to reach the interscalene brachial plexus. As it approaches, it is stopped short of entering the stroma of the interscalene brachial plexus, where the injection of the local anesthetic would be made. Additional instructions on how to perform and practice the supraclavicular brachial plexus block are provided in the booklet that accompanies the simulator, as well as available for download on medexpress.pro. Thank you.